we actually have in our ET vault some footage of your dad watching you as Jungle yeah, Boy. Yeah. Um, what did your dad think of this? He, he was all about it. He, he um, was? Yeah, he, uh, he actually grew up loving Dusty Rhodes. So it's it's cool to be with Cody now and like how it's all turned out. But he, he was a big wrestling fan. And he actually was the one who uh, uh, pushed me to get trained and start wrestling in the first place. <laughs> oh, wow. Yeah. I was just at the Once Upon a Time in Hollywood premiere oh, a day and a half ago. Yeah. Um, and while I was there, I saw your beautiful tribute on Instagram oh, and yeah. talked to Tarantino about it. Yes. Um, so what inspired you to climb the billboard? Um, you know, it, I, I kind of just had to do it. That's... um. I like climbing stuff, and I saw it there. And um, you know, I just I just wanted to, you know, it'll only be there for so long. And I kind of wanted to commemorate it being there forever in a way. And um, you know, it's kind of just my natural thing to go climb on something. So <laughs> I, I love it. Yeah. And Quentin had mentioned he said, you know, it's such a beautiful and touching tribute. And then mentioned to me that you worked on the movie. Yeah, you you can see me if you pay close attention. Um, okay, in what scene? It's in a movie theater. Okay. Yeah. Oh, okay. Yes. Okay. Um, yeah, so keep your eyes peeled. Oh, that's fabulous. So what was it like PAing on a Tarantino it's, it's movie? It's crazy. Kind of similar how she was talking about Kenny Omega. Quentin Tarantino, these are all people that you hear about all the time, and it's, they're kind of just out there, though, in the universe. And so then to, like, to talk to them and to be there with them, it's like, like that's the guy right there. That's it. And it's, it's just a wild... It's a wild experience. So you obviously saw the movie. What did you think? Was it hard to watch? It was a little bit, but I was uh, I was very proud of it. And um, you know, my dad was really proud of it. And he was really excited about it. And so it was it was cool to see that. And um, I, I'm glad he got to do that. It was it was really good for him. But it, yeah, it was it was a crazy movie. It's a fabulous. Go see movie. it. It's I don't really even know how to describe it. Yeah, you no. can't. <laughs> no. I'm like, there's Brad and Leo, and then it's just a lot of stuff. Yeah. One more thing, you know, we were just at Comic Con and we sat down with the cast of 90210 and Riverdale, yeah. and everyone's planning these tributes and stuff. I wanted yeah. to hear from you. What do you What do you make of all that? And are you touched? Do you like it? Is it too much? Would Dad like it? Yeah. I mean, um, you know, I think the thing the thing that I'm most proud of about my dad always is that he, he was a really good guy. Yes, he was. Um, and you know, obviously, not everyone got the chance to know him, but I think it kind of the uh, the outreach and support. I think it kind of shows that. And so. Uh, you know, I'm happy to see it. He was very, he was loved by everybody, and um, it's nice to see that from everybody. And you know, it's it's a nice thing. Is it hard to share that grief with like the whole world? It, yes and no. I, I mean, I appreciate it. I knew him obviously in a way that n no one else did. Um, so, so I can't relate fully to people. Not everyone gets it, but I, I think everyone gets it in their own way, and that's nice to see. I think everyone feels it in their own way. I thought it was cool that Shannon is joining yes, Riverdale. Yes, yeah, that'll be cool. That's a cool moment. I want to know from each of you how you got involved in elite wrestling. Well, how did the call come? Don't go this way. I, I got a, I got a <clears throat> Twitter notice. Yeah, <laughs> what? I was, uh, yeah, so my call was a DM, and um, I thought it was somebody playing a joke on me. Um, because I, I'm, I'm a bit, you know, so I, in wrestling, you, you have your talent, persona, your talent goggles, you also have your fan goggles. Yeah. Because I, I firmly believe if you aren't a fan of what we do, then it's going to show. So yeah. I still wear my fan goggles very proudly. So being a fan of Kenny Omega, I get a message from Kenny Omega. When does that ever happen, right? So I'm like, yeah, okay, sure thing. And I'm like tracking it down, like Googling, and it's like, oh wait, no, this this might be the real deal. <laughs> <laughs> so, so we exchange uh, actual information and, and have the contact, and it was like, Oh, this is the real thing. Okay. Th through Twitter. Through Twitter. <laughs> what a 2019. Thank yeah. you. You know what I mean? <laughs> oh my gosh. How about you? You know, Brandy and I go way back, and um, when they had um, All In in Chicago, it was like big and great. I hadn't done anything in wrestling for a long time because I've been doing Glow and kind of just took a step back from yeah. wrestling. And when I got the call, Brian Wittenstein, my friend and agent, said, you know, they want to do something. So they cooked up an idea, a treat for the fans, yeah. uh, for an uh, awesome Kong return that hadn't been seen in three years and no one saw coming. Uh, that was great. Mine was also through Twitter. I, uh, no way! Yeah, that's how it works. Okay, Kenny! Yeah, I know. I just got a Twitter this. I, I actually, yeah, mine was from Cody, but um, I was in Chicago with my family and, um, my sister was getting ready to go to Africa. She's been in Africa for like six months, building preschools and things. 
So we were there kind of having our goodbye weekend with her, and we were at breakfast, and uh, my phone buzzed, and I looked at it, and it was a message from Cody Rhodes. And it had his phone number, and he said, shoot me a text when you can. You know, I kind of figured what was coming. So I, I stepped outside the restaurant, and it was snowing, freezing cold, and I'm from California, so I'm not used to it. <laughs> so I was out there in my short sleeve shirt, shivering and all that. But um, yeah, I texted back and forth with him a little bit, and that was pretty much it. But yeah, it was a wild moment. What do you think makes Elite Wrestling different than other wrestling programs that exist? I think the fact that all the wrestlers together um, have input on the product. It's just not this one line of a constituency of one mm -hmm. and one person's idea and here's the idea, trickle down and you perform it like monkeys. Uh, together as talent, we have the input and the ears that are listening for us to present our art That's to cool. the world. You are changing the game. I mean, what a trailblazer, <laughs> the first ever transgender woman to sign a contract with a professional wrestling organization. It's major. Do you feel pressure from the community? Do you feel how historic this is? Um, yes, the, the short answer is yes. Uh, it's, it's not lost on me. Um, there definitely is a little bit of pressure there because obviously I want to represent um, to the best of my ability, uh, yeah. but at the same time, you know, I can only speak for myself to a certain degree, you know, so my views, my ideas are purely my views and my ideas, and I, and I hope that doesn't get lost on the people. Sure. Um, but yeah, there's, there's definitely a bit of uh, responsibility there. Okay, so who could kick each other's ass first? Yeah? <laughs> it's the experience. Okay, it's the experience. It's not about the ass kicking. Well, mainly because I got to get it done quick because I don't feel like <laughs> fighting for a long time. So I got to, you know, just kill him with my thumbs. Are you uh, terrified of her? Uh, um, no, not now. Okay. I know. Because can... you're sitting here in an interview. Yeah, we're, we're cool. Yeah. Um, yeah. Yeah, but I gotta be careful. Don't get on the bad side. Sure. Well, you know, I he was young, very young. I remember one of his first like matches, and he was young, like almost prepubescent. I was in fifth grade. Yeah, and so I think there's that that like auntie aspect <laughs> of respect there. You know. You're gonna beat up your nephew? Yeah, I know. Yeah. Well, I mean, <laughs> the rest of the business. I like her more than my real. They gotta learn. They gotta learn. They gotta learn. <laughs> they gotta learn. <laughs> Can you sort of explain the persona of Jungle Boy? Of Jungle Boy, yeah. I mean, Jungle Boy is, um, you know, it's it's kind of a classic character. You see Tarzan, like George of the Jungle. So it's kind of that, but it, it has a new twist on it because um, doing flips, and throwing people on their heads and whatnot. So it's, I like to think of it as like that that age old character and a new twist of a young guy. So that's. But you can never cut your hair. No, I know. Because it really go now. Now I know. it's I'm stuck with it. Yeah. Right. Especially it's in my contract. Congratulations, you guys. Thank you for taking the time to sit down Thank with us, all of you. Nice. I'm very excited yeah. for you. My family's excited. We'll be watching. Yes. So congrats. Awesome.